Hi, this is Devin. We're just following up on the uh, idea of some nonprofit advertising tips uh, using Facebook. And I want to talk about the fact that so many of our nonprofits now have big mailing lists, but when they send out an email, 70, 80, sometimes 90% of people don't open the emails. And you can bet that many of the people who do open them don't read them thoughtfully. We're not really engaging people with those lists. So how do you engage them? You can now use a custom audience on Facebook to reach those people. So let me show you how to create a Facebook audience using your mailing list. First, let's go to our uh, Facebook advertising manager by pulling down this little menu button on Facebook and then clicking on manage ads that'll pull up your manager choose your account you may have more than one choose the one you want to use then it will load and what you want to do is there's a little menu indicator here as well in the upper left hand corner choose audiences Now we want to create an audience. We want to create a custom audience. So click on the custom audience. We're going to use a customer file. So right, we want to use that mailing list that you've already established. Wherever that is, we want to use it. Now I'm going to show you the easy way. If you happen to have a MailChimp account, and many of you do, don't feel bad if you don't, but if you do, this is the easy way. Click on import from MailChimp and you log into your MailChimp account. So I'll just uh, put in my login information, click the login button. There I have a couple of lists. I'll select the list I want to create an audience from. Now I'm going to give it a name. Because this won't automatically update, I'm going to do this from time to time. So I'm going to use a, a date indicator here. I always use dates in the computer as, as in the year, month, day, order, so that uh, when I look at them as a list, they're in order. Uh, and then uh, give that name. I, I won't add a description. I know what that is. I click Next. And uh, I have a couple of options. Uh, but we don't need to do that. We can actually just use that list. That really is a powerful list now because that is a list of people. And when I choose to do an ad, I can choose to advertise to this list of people. Very powerful tool. Now let's go back and do it again very quickly. Let's create another custom audience. Customer file. But this time let's choose a file or copy and paste data. So we're going to um, upload a file. And uh, so I've got the file here in uh, my YMOTCW file. So I'll, I'll just put in today's date because I just downloaded the file. And uh, so it's easy to find it that way. So I select that file. I click Next. It's going to ask me to match up uh, some of the fields. So some of these fields are, uh, so this is the first name, that's the last name. We'll just match up some of these fields. Um, you know, some of these things don't need to be uploaded. Uh, many of them don't. We'll just scroll through here uh, and just ignore the things that aren't uh, relevant. Um, so that is not the phone number so we're going to click that to don't upload and that's all the data really that is relevant is just the first name last name and email that's really all I've got so I upload that list and uh, Shazam uh, I've got 534 people on that list and uh, I, again, I can now create a lookalike address or create an ad, but we're just going to use this list that we just uploaded. So that's the, that's the tip for today on how to create a custom audience on uh, Facebook.